physics communities, uh, physics papers, physics uh, journals, if you will. Ooh, oh, the pain, the pain that causes. But anyway, Chauncey's Law of Gravity, mathematically expressed as AMC squared divided by DBM. Now, A is angle in radii. That's the uh, angle of your pyramid, okay? So this is a, uh, this is, you know, zero, zero uh, uh, radii, uh, no, no multiplier. You know, that's your, that's an index. So whatever your, the, the steeper your pyramid, the higher the index, the more lensing you're going to get. Mass, you all know what mass is, right? How big the pyramid is. So angle of the Great Pyramid of Giza would be uh, 52 degrees radii, I think. And then uh, mass would be like 6 million tons. Now you get, you get yourself a big number here. This is going to be a big number uh, the times the speed of light because you've got to convert it into energy uh, divided by distance. Uh, B is the uh, multiplied by B, which is the gravitational constants. And M is the moon's angle over the uh, lens or pyramid or mountain or volcano or mass or elliptical mass above the ellipsoid. So that's submerged by water. And then you get yourself a good number. Okay, I did that to satisfy the intellectual needs of the uh, scientific community. You're welcome. All right, moving right along to speed of light. Sorry for uh, dropping the ball on that one. And uh, again, we have um, <clears throat> Saqqara, Medium, Deshur, Deshur South, North, uh, Giza, Khufu, Giza, Khafre, Menker. They all have uh, little chambers in there. They're not tombs, they're focal points. Sorry to uh, uh, you know, spoil all your fun. And uh, pyramids are tombs. No, they're not. Uh, anyways, again, you would put mass, a dense, uh, dense material inside these focal points to increase the gravitational uh, density in the focal point and get more bang for the buck, whether it's raising the water tables or uh, you know, opening up a, tech, a, a, a Hawaiian hotspot. Uh, or another another hot spot through a tectonic plate. The uh, it's just amazing these uh, these pyramids what they've come up with and uh, um, consequently uh, recent discoveries they found is an ocean of fresh water under um, Giza plateau or in the Sahara. I don't know, it's the, uh, it's the uh, well the desert out there. Well, it, it's a part part of this the name escapes me, but. Uh, <clears throat> Sahara Desert, it might be the Sahara, I don't know. There's ocean there. And then also they found an ocean of water, fresh water under the uh, Shen pyramids. So again, more physical evidence, I rest my case. These pyramids are lenses. They were set up to run off of the moon's gravitational force. And they were harnessed by this type three society to do good, you know, to accentuate life uh, as we know it on the planet. Make, make this place a nice, quiet, uh, you know, beautiful uh, utopia that we're uh, accustomed to. So, I mean, you know, to increase the, um, the control of the planet, that's what we need to do is put these pyramids back together. Um, these are plateau pyramids working with gravitational forces from the moon could be used to uh, lock in magnetic north, the true north controlling iron rich magma currents, uh, magma uh, currents that is before the pyramids were broken into in 833 by Alma Moon further damaged by uh, Colonel Vice in 1833. The way you disable a pyramid is by opening them up. This destructive action lowers the gravitational field inside the center line of the pit. Uh, not much more to say about that. Just humans being humans, really looking for the big stash. Uh, anyways, uh, unbeknownst to the uh, world, like I said earlier, uh, the iceless uh, continent of Antarctica is, in fact, a hexagon, just like Jupiter and Saturn, South, South Pole, our South Pole, hexagon. This is a, is a uh, lens, and um, you know, let's read this. This uh, Antarctica's hexagon-shaped continent is a gravity-condensing lens that, and prevents magnetic pole swaps from occurring. <clears throat> the North Pole is free of continent, of a continent, at the Earth's axis, this allows more subatomic particles to flow into the North Pole axis and less subatomic particles to flow into the South Pole axis. axis thus, well, excuse me, thus blocking the flow to singularity. This science is known and is shown on in the uh, construction of the Dejed Pillar. 
the jet pillar is a is a map of how uh, or a uh, symbol a logo of how the planet's uh, plates work and uh, the energy flows work. Uh, we'll get, uh, get that into another part or another video later on. But uh, again, this is lensing, the gravitons and the electrons. Uh, I call them, uh, uh, what do I call these? The, uh, uh, well, they're gravitons and electrons. <laughs> Gravineticatons, I call them. I dub them Gravineticatons because they bond at the uh, at the pole, and uh, I think in the north, in the north, they uh, bond, and in the south, they um, repel each other. So you have a, a, a slow a slow flow through that uh, lensing property, and then I think they bond, and then they come out the uh, equatorial plane, just like your uh, magnetic flux lines flow, the gravitational and electron flow uh, the, the same. So that being said. Uh, you know, they flow back back into the planet, and some do escape the uh, the, uh, the actual mass of the planet down at the equator. A long story short, this stops magnetic pole swaps from happening. The magnetic poles will get weak as the ice uh, melts, and then uh, it will get strong again as the, uh, we get into uh, ice building mode in the next ice age. Uh, if you're interested in when the nice, next ice age is coming, again, uh, check out my new book. There is something about the moon. I'll put it in the uh, more section uh, underneath this video on YouTube with the link to the website and also my other website appearing with Gravity Force. Thanks again for listening. Hit me up with any questions, suggestions, arguments, uh, 10 and all with this debate. And I uh, haven't been knocked down yet. So uh, again, I have evidence. There's evidence. This is all physical evidence I just put up here. So please do give it a look and uh, you know add to it. It's your world too. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day.